Guys, we are at the we are at the barn door gathering or barn door roundup. I don't know what they call it, but uh, all these are all barn door pre 55, early 55 and earlier. Tons of them here, so uh, we're gonna check these out here. Fortunately, I didn't get my coffee this morning, so it's been a little struggle. But uh, yeah. Try and get as much of this before the music comes on. People start turning on music and then. This guy came from Escondido, or this was an Escondido thing. I don't know if he just made it that way. Pretty cool. Don't think I've seen it before. Tons of them I haven't seen. Uh, palm green, sand green. Barn door. Barn door standard. Standard. Look here, the dash. Usually was just a single speedometer. Did you people order it? Yes, it is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Here's one. Another barn door, just, just original, I guess, or unrestored. Kind of need to see them like that sometimes. I don't know what that thing's called. Uh, I guess I should have looked some of this stuff up ahead of time. They usually had that ambulance fan when they had that. It's a vent system. Then we got our typical, this is, you know, the Fast Times bus. You've got to check out the reflectors. Or else of course, we've got the... Uh, okay. It's the Neocab, it's the second one from the end, the blue 56. Okay. So I, I just put it Brain's not working yet. Okay. It's the Woodstock bus. This is gonna love her windows up here. Cool. Oh, yeah, the board. I'll sign your board? Yeah, for sure. Another barn door. Cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get around these ones quick enough before the music came on, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my best to narrate over these. So I believe this is another early, because you notice it doesn't have a back bumper. It has uh, the, I think it's either 52, 51, I think 50. Um, I don't, I can't, you guys could probably see better when you see the license plate. Typically that kind of gives you an idea if they have the correct one on it but it's kind of cool um, really nice these barn doors are just amazing these are such so this one here is is this the 15 window I believe so and this is also an early bus early Samba uh, if you look at it uh, there's a 15 and a 23 window right next to each other so if you look at the license there it says 15 and these are just absolutely stunning. I don't know where this guy came from. Uh, I've seen these before, um, but not very often that I see these buses. I've seen them a couple times, once or twice. And they are just pristine and beautiful. You know, they're just so well done. Look at the engine compartment uh, when we get over there. It is just gorgeous. I'm showing how nice the paint is everywhere. Just painted every direction. They painted and must have color sanded and buffed every nook and cranny inside or used really high pressure to get it look. Even the battery, the detail of all that stuff is just amazing. I believe that's even the correct size battery. They 
made a different size battery back in that date with a little bit little bit smaller and if you notice when you go to buy some of those battery covers for your bug they don't fit on the old or the newest batteries so and if you have a 50s uh, battery cover it won't fit on the old on the old on the new batteries that are out now or if you have a 60s one a lot of times the battery covers will fit on those but anyway I'm still now myself I'm going with the gel cells just because they always work well they work for longer maybe I'm hearing that they work for longer so I'm gonna try the gel cell batteries seems like the prices of batteries have just gotten crazy so I'm going with those even though they don't look as good so yeah this is just a beautiful 23 window Saba with the chestnut brown ceiling wax red colors just looks amazing look at that air cleaner move everything on that's correct too the guy just really does a great job on his buses I think the same guy owns both of those I'm pretty sure so anyway we'll get away from the music here pretty soon it'll be a little bit but we'll get away from that and then uh, we'll go back to normal sound I've been trying to use uh, normal sound as much as I can and then just uh, if you guys notice sometimes I put music in the background that's because there's other music that I'm trying to bury with the with the uh, music that I can have on the in the video and it seems to be working so far I don't really want the algorithm to uh, take down the video or demonetize it because of that you know it's a lot of work to do these videos it cost me a lot of fuel cost and uh, time to go out and do them so yeah to do that I, I'd hate to give them all the revenue for it it just seems really just because one song's in it seems crazy it'd be okay if they said oh yeah we'll get we'll take two percent of the revenue or something like that that'd be great I'd use licensed music all the time and it would promote the artists and all that but no they just want all of it so it just makes it makes no sense so anyway but uh and it's usually the record companies that are doing that so yeah if you see there this is uh this is another early barn door these are all early ones because uh, they don't have back bumpers and if you can see those windows in the top are actually deep they have, they have a name for it something deep windows the skylight windows are deeper than the rest of them and then it has uh those different vent wing latches um it's a few other things i'm not a barn door expert i really don't know that much about them i just because i don't have one i think if you have one you become more knowledgeable about it so same thing with early oval windows and some of the other early cars you start to you know really learn more about them because you have one so this is a later model if you see here there look at they have a other latches almost like the standard vent wing latch i don't know if there's the same or not probably not because barn door stuff is different almost every time that i've found out and uh they're just really neat buses yeah you can count the vents too there's a little trick there i don't know uh they have more or less vents on the back i don't know somebody can comment that below of course um so those people that are looking for all the details can find them i know that's what uh lind was telling saying that there was something about the vents counting the vents we'll tell him that it's a barn door so pretty amazing this is another absolutely stunning machine just amazing and just look at that bus thing is just absolutely gorgeous i think that's the way you do a, a barn door unless you had original paint you know if it was original paint try to keep it original you know but and if it was really in bad shape really really rusty or something i would take it to this level and just go just go crazy on it why not you know it's a it's a rare machine something that you're not going to drive all the time uh, this one here i think i see a little bit of coverage if it's in the door i think this is one that's been like original paint i can't really see i'm looking at a very small screen so but it's really neat to see all these 
the same color all in line next to each other all barn doors it, you just don't see this ever this is stuff you never see so anyway we'll bring it back to normal sound i believe here in a minute oh. it looks like we're past the music now so pretty cool yeah those are uh, right in the middle there we had 251s we saw those these are like later models 54 it looks like to me from the license plate i don't know i don't know the years i don't know how to tell the difference really other than things like the early ones have a different vent wing on them the later ones have the other latch it's more like the later models but it's still different everything's different on these Look here, we got windows open, so we'll get the dash, you guys. I don't know, safaris, these ones look like later model safaris. Uh, or are they? Oh, no, there's barn door. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, the barn door for safaris even look different too. It's crazy. It's just really cool to see this many of these barn doors all in the same place. So these are all deluxes, mostly in the front. Deluxe 15, Deluxe 23. Uh, but the, oh, yeah, the other thing on the earlier ones is uh, this is an early one obviously because remember the vent wing has this latch okay and it doesn't have rear bumpers so this might be 51 52 and the skylight glass was recessed really low and they figured out that was a bad idea probably because of rust and things like that so they got rid of that And they don't have bumpers, so the earlier ones don't have rear bumpers. They just had those mounted on. Let's look inside. I wonder if that's original. I don't know what the vinyl was like. I don't think so, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Could be, could be not. Tell me in the comments. Yeah, this is crazy. We got a lowered barn door. These are barn door safaris. I think the other ones weren't. But again, the barn door safaris are like super hard to find. So you do what you gotta do. Those are a little different too. I don't know what the deal is. Says 53. Don't know if I've ever seen it. I just don't bring these out very often. I don't know if I'm going to get the whole show. I'm going to definitely get all the barn doors. There are so many here. This is crazy. See, I heard, last time I heard, 72 were registered to come. So I don't know how many made it. Here's a beauty right here. Check this out, guys. 
It's an early one, 51, 52. Engine, original, nice. Got his crank start in there. Probably the most reliable way to start one of these. Again, it has the latches like this. I forget what they call those. So maybe that is the original. This one has the same interior in it. Let's take a look at it. Tell me what you think. This has the same interior as the other one. So it kind of has that leatherette with the red welt. And every pleat is sewn. Yeah, so that's probably how it was originally. Yeah, that's really neat. When you see this many of them, it almost becomes kind of normalized and it's kind of weird. weird. So what's this one? This one's all solid. Is that solid ceiling wax red? All one color? If it was like that one originally, that's kind of interesting. Suppose you could order it that way. Tell me what you guys think. It's kind of wild. It looks like a lot of red though. I like it. I like the red like this, the ceiling wax red uh, when it's like on a panel or a combi. It just looks kind of strange on 23 window. 50, well. Palomar Garage, huh? Really interesting to see if that was. So it's a 50 or 53, 54. 55 because it has a different latch there but you notice it has a different safaris like the other one didn't have safaris like this with the seal that goes in the safari look at all the barn doors look kind of like the brazilian buses even have that now so here we go we got a huge parking lot now, this time. So we've got... I don't know what this color is, or if it was original color. I suppose it is, look. Just don't know what it is. Definitely cool. So yeah, it had the leatherette with the red. Yeah, how the key is in the dash there. Right in the middle. Kind of, kind of hard to turn on and off, I suppose. You have to reach around the steering wheel. Fifty-four. Got. Wonder where this guy came in from. U.S. forces in Germany probably picked this up in Germany when he was there. We sent the servicemen did. Let's look at this radio in here. Is that what is that? Is that a radio? Looks like. I don't know what that is. Is that a radio? Really weird. I've seen a couple different ones. I don't think I've seen that one. There's right hand drive. Australia, Indonesia. <laughs> I 
England. Who knows? But it is kind of neat. Seeing everything on the other side. Sure, these aren't original colors, but it is a barn door. I would take it. Oh, yeah, look at see what's underneath. Primer, maybe it is uh, weird. Maybe it is uh, some some weird. Know about the color combination? I've never seen it. So. You guys want to make your comments on that? Be interesting to know. Doesn't look like postal yellow. Postal yellow is a little bit different. Not so greenish. Here's a project. No, nope, I don't think it's for sale either. Roll it in rough, man. At least it's rolling. 23 window. Wow. Oh man, can you imagine getting one of these? You probably really run into some serious rust issues and very strange things you run into. Like welded up stuff and fixed, repaired stuff. and. Yeah, it looks like not too bad, really. Looks like it was used to store stuff at one point. I think it's an early one, too. See how deep these are. Wonder where it came from. Combi bus. So I think we just went through the deluxes. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go through sections of them. I will just kind of explore and see. And I'm going nice and slow so you guys can kind of look at them and see. Hopefully we got everything in 4K. I got enough memory. It's going to be a tough one. Yeah, nice combi. Dub blue. We got a, looks like an original paint on this one. Yeah. Let's look at the dash. Oh, that's cool. It's just so primitive with that handrail on the right hand side. Just hold on, let's go. Kind of fun. Really neat there. This is, I guess, I don't know what the deal is. Was the oldest bus around? One of the oldest ones in the world, or something? I, I forget the history on that, but it's really cool. It's a 50. I, I don't remember the years they started making them. But... Wow, we got an ambulance coming up, guys. There's a lot of neat stuff coming. It's a really cool bus. I love the 
beautiful artwork on there. Let's take a look at those so you can see. Mm, it's just so neat. Cat did a really amazing job. It's all hand brushed. That is not easy. Airbrushed in the middle for the bulb. These are even hand brushed, but man, look at that brushwork is so straight. It takes a real good eye to do that. You gotta have your stuff set up just right. Paint. This is a interesting bus here. I don't really know what the deal is with it. It's really small windows. I think I've seen it before. It's like these windows are just so... Barter panel, I guess. I don't know if it was a panel. Well... It's probably not a walkthrough because it's got vents, right? The upper vents are on it. It's a seat. Really cool looking though. I don't know what the deal is. 50. 1950. There we go. Sunward, side windows and seats added in the early 50s in Europe. So that's what the deal is. Sunroof is placed in a different place. I almost wish they were all placed there because then you could open it up while you're driving. But uh, nope. look at how they added the windows. Kind of unique. This is it. This is the way they made it. Of course, this bus here comes out from Idaho. He drives this out. This has a Porsche engine in it. And he loves to demonstrate crank starting it. Because it has a crank start and he has a crank start for it. It is an early bus. If you notice here. This type of wind wing is different. And it has that... What the hinge is called? I can't remember. Brain's not working today, so we'll just see how this goes. It's a really interesting one there. 1950. So I guess he didn't put the anything on the back of the early ones on the combis, huh?
So yeah, this uh, last one was original. Or some of these are original. Some are restored. This one's definitely restored. And this is a what they call a smooth gate. I think it's an earlier one when they're smooth. The woods in it. Really cool smooth gate. I don't know if this is the one the guy had from uh, from Canada and he brought it down. I think it is actually and he brought it back to stock height. Made it original again. It was lower to head wheels on it. And uh, yeah, he bought it from Saskatchewan, I think. Brought it down. Now it lives in uh, Northern California, or Central California. See so yeah, how this guy came in hot? Sounded good, man. It's a, he's got twin turbos on this thing or something crazy. Twin turbo. Crazy. So we're walking this way, a couple latecomers, so put these in here. Then we get back to the barn doors. Let's see which ones have I done. And we got back into the commercial section, so we'll get back into those. Check it out. Yeah, so we get slow ride garage, pretty cool. Smooth gate, it's early. Only a few smooth gates around. Yeah, so listen, here's just the Ratty original. Very cool. It's here. Save them all. That's what we need to see. Runs and drive like it is. Don't cut yourself on it. That's an old saying. For good old Everett Barnes. I'm here somewhere. Maybe we'll run into Everett. Who knows? Spider.
flowers are just awesome. It's like crazy. So many of them. So pretty neat there. This one here is actually a, not a barn door, but it's a it's got a barn door roof on it, and uh, it's a 23 window actually by the numbers, which is pretty neat. And somebody at one point grafted a roof on it, probably because it rolled over or something. It's got, this is really cool. I, I don't know what these colors are. Is it? Original, I, I, it almost looks like it is. Maybe they just painted the bottom that color, and this is the original paint up here. That looks right. I don't know, maybe it had a lot of metalwork, so they tune toned it like that. Pretty cool idea. I like it. I don't know what this is. Is this a, I don't think it's a fire truck. It looks like a. It's called light gray. Somebody painted it red. So, but it's got a sunroof, which is neat. You know, that's pretty cool to have a sunroof on a barn door. <laughs> it's pretty cool to have a barn door. Period. Yeah, but uh, these are pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, I think those turn signals were actually added for the for the fire truck on this one. I've seen this one before. That's the fire truck. Yeah, it's a real fire truck. Look at the roof rack on there. The siren, huh? For the four-way flashers, the, the lights on there. Let's see, I guess they're red and amber. And it's got it has a oh it has an ambulance back door too. Pretty cool. Well, let's see what it has inside. Does it have dividers? No divider. No divider in here. Uh, yeah, that's neat. Really cool. So we'll get the ambulance next. Now this is weird. Oh, this is a double door ambulance. Yeah, it looks like it's the real deal. Pharmacy board shop. Should have put a green cross on there. No, I'm just kidding. See how the windows are foggy like that. I think that's original like that too. So you can't see in. I know Dumop Garage in Australia has got barn door ambulance but maybe this will help him get some stuff he needs for his it's pretty cool no it's got two beds is that yeah, original two, two like cots. That? as far as i know everything's original inside wow it looks like it yeah it's insane well it's got a privacy curtain mm -hmm. that's cool and it's original and the divider windows of course they all had yeah, those the yeah <laughs> Even that has the little lip like they had uh, on the that uh, Lind has on that 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 truck. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has a little lip on the around the edge, so that's normal. I didn't know if it was just for his. Look at the handles up there. <laughs> Grab right, handles I'll in the roof. You, I'll call you guys in a little bit, okay? All right. Look at 
this. That's cool too. Yeah, this is pretty neat here. Pretty neat here. It looks like, I don't know if it's from Washington or it's what the plate says on it. What's that? What's this? Wow, it's an air vent for the later models, I guess. I don't know. Comment on that, guys. Let me know what you think. What is, what is that thing? The vent. What years did they have it? I think I saw it on a couple of them. Look at that. I think it's got the middle seat turned around. Probably because they were camping last night. And this. Sweet. Oh yeah, there we go. Those, I was looking at these here. What do you think these are? Ah, oh, LEDs. <laughs> he lights this thing up for shows, I guess. So there's, just use those little uh, strip LEDs and. So we'll just run through, what I'm gonna do is now is I'm just gonna go through real quick through these. Some of these on my way back. I'll just, since there's no music right here, um, we'll head on back over to the barn doors here in a second. Show you some of the other stuff that's here. I don't wanna spend too much time over here because I might not be able to film these. I don't know if I have enough memory or enough uh, battery or anything like that. This might be. I brought two cameras so I can go back and get the other one. So yeah, this one's for sale. <laughs> Looks like original paint. Wow. It's for sale. Taking offers. I don't know. Going through window. Rag top. Original. The thing about original paint is you know it's not a fake. 23 window. And you know if it's rusty or not, right? That's a really gorgeous high roof. A double cab with a pump engine on it. Thanks to bring that with him. Water pump. I know, good vibes only in this thing. Look at that. Super shag. Stickerage. Pirate. Look at that, man. That's like almost cool looking graffiti. Peace and love. Stickerage. Oh, 
those interesting windows in a panel. This one was in yesterday's video, the one I just uploaded. I, hopefully it came out okay. I don't know how it's going to come out until I watch it. Didn't have my headphones listening for music in the background, so hopefully I didn't have any issues. I mean, about, about I'll have to redo a re-edit. So. Then I got the, oh, this guy here. This is a really nice double. SL42. Well, let's look inside since it's open. Original SL42. Great shape. This must be Charlie's bus, it looks like it. No, it's not Charlie's. It's a different one. His is painted. This one's the original, it looks like. Kind of, they were been repainted a long time ago. A lot of people at the show today, guys. It's just a crazy event. So let's just uh, make it to the end of this row here and we'll head back to the barn doors, guys. And the swap meet is hopping, but I won't be getting in there, I'm sure. There's just too much to film today. So, I'm just going to stick to uh, this. I wish I could get out there. Might find some good stuff. We just packed them in. So we're back in the Barndo zone. Air conditioning.
but well, I got all my money. I have everything that I have. Something's got to go. Got some barn doors up ahead still. Figure we'll photo these as we're going along. A lot going on here. Here's a project in action. See these barn doors, man. I was just. Ooh, she's a roughin'. Yeah, this is pretty neat here. Pretty neat here. It looks like, I don't know if this is from Washington or what the plate says on it. What's that? What's this? Oh, it's an air vent for the later models, I guess. I don't know. Comment on that, guys. Let me know what you think. What is, what is that thing? The vent. What years did they have it? I think I saw it in a couple of them. Look at that. Look at this, get the middle seat turned around. Probably because they were camping last night. Who knows? Sweet. Those, I was looking at these here. What do you think these are? Ah, oh, LEDs. <laughs> he lights this thing up for shows, I guess. So there's, just use those little uh, strip LEDs. And... So we'll just run through, what I'm gonna do is now is I'm just gonna go through real quick through these. Some of these on my way back. I'll just, since there's no music right here, um, we'll head on back over to the barn doors here in a second. Show you some of the other stuff that's here. I don't wanna spend too much time over here because I might not be able to film these. I don't know if I have enough memory or enough uh, battery or anything like that. Might be. I brought two cameras so I can go back and get the other one. Plus from Riverside actually won a couple of shows. It's actually won a couple of them.
Driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive. Nothing in sight, forever in flight. Follow those lines, we'll make it this time. Blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we'll make it tonight. Oh, yeah, we'll make it tonight. Yeah. Escaping. Escape route. Moving them around here. It is so tight with buses this time. Hey, hey man. Right. Hi, I was Yeah, pretty cool. So everybody's moving around. Got that guy out. I don't know how we did it, but we got him out of here. He had to leave early, so he came in for just a little bit and got boxed in. Nice. Getting the regular buses, and then hopefully we'll get here early enough. We'll go over to RVA and film some over there the RVA show let's come back for that guys there's a lot going on right now so I want to try and film everything I can for you bug guys who want to see some bugs and stuff I don't know how many buses are gonna be there probably not very many so they're almost all gonna be here yeah, that's interesting there that's a color combination. So a few buses. A Shasta looking bus there. Probably know whose that is, I just don't. Brain's not going there right now. SL42 tin top that is. Right there. Looks like me. Yeah. This show got so full that they actually opened up this area to guys just for show. So let's go walk it, take a look. There's a lot more buses here than I even thought in this area. So again, I guess they're the car club guys. It's even a second row. Let's go look at those two. Come back. That's a nice one there. Nice 15 window.
couple 15 windows. Tina single cab. That is Rat Tina. <laughs> Rat Tina. I don't think that's really. Pretty cool, man. And it's still on the road. Look at this 15, that's really nice. Original paint. Oh, it has a perfect fade in there. This color kind of painted, faded pink. All the guys match that fade, but it doesn't. They're a little more red than originally. That's kind of neat. Australia Automotive Works. Walk a little bit of swap meet, check it out, guys. A lot of stuff out here. Unfortunately, uh, there's crow's feet out here for sale. Well, we're not crow's feet today. This is an early fender, it looks like. Uh, well, what year that is. If it's original or not, I think it is, but. Hard to say. I have to look at it for a while. Ah, the swap meet's huge. A lot of stuff for sale. Oh, literature. It's parceless. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Two barrel manifold. stuff for sale out here man this swap meets awesome 
<sighs> I wish I had time to really look through it. There's some really cool stuff out there. Love looking at those little piles. Not sure what I need right now. Probably a bunch of, buy a bunch of stuff I don't need. That would be good. So, anyway, bring you back in a little bit. Oh, thanks. This guy came out from Bend, Oregon, and this pretty cool. That's an interesting inside too. Let's look at it. It's got like the burned wood look they were doing back in the old days. Look at that. That is just rad. The thing is so ratty and cool. It's just that double door. I didn't realize it was a double door when I saw it last. The splatter on the front from the drive. Look at that double door. That's cool. Yeah, we looking good, man. God, there's all these cool buses, and they're just like really average when you have all those barn doors down there. I mean, this is a, right here is a camping box. So this thing's really rare in itself. A lot of people just think, oh, that's an old ratty old bus. It's early, you know, pre-Westphalia, but it's a, I don't know what this one is. I don't think this is a camping box. No. I think this one is, though. So. This one's a camping box. That's Westphalia. Westphalia we used to buy them and then make these. Yeah, it looks like a Westphalia camping box. Yeah, right here. So, yeah, these are really cool. And uh, people just think, oh, it's just an old ratty camper. What's with that? It's really, really rare. So, cool. Smells like good times. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I walked in. Yeah. The entire place. Yeah, it's kind of a a thing with some of the guys. Not everybody. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah. From the hills, we used to do that. Wow, the, the parking lot's amazing. <laughs> Got the flattened wagon here. The guys sometimes they get the cheap, but like they know the price is too. It's like, you know, the flattened wagon and the crane trucky. Oh, that's a nice looking panel. My god. Light gray. Hey, looks like he's got it all opened up. Let's check it out, guys. What do you think? Wow. Original. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, you just don't see these. 
It's a swivel seat. Wow. Swivel seat, no passenger seat. Totally rare, guys. So check that out, man. That's a swivel seat. Uh, you can see how the base goes. Kind of goes on there and slides on the regular slider. And then the seat has a lever down there. You pull it and it swivels. So you could whip around and go into the back and get your stuff out. Really neat. That's a super rare, super rare bus. So my way along here, just checking out some stuff. They're going to head out of here shortly and go to RVA and see what I can get over there. Hey, go to RVA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to RVA, maybe and go film over there for a little bit. It's gonna go on until three, so I'm gonna try and get enough of that. In another video, I'm gonna have to use my other device because I'm gonna be out of memory. Carburetors. All right, we're back to the barn doors again. Go down here and see, see what happened with that thing. I think a guy just handed him cash and that thing's changed hands. Top barn door, 51 barn door on the top and uh, 23 window on the bottom with belly pants. So you could probably split it up and make two buses. That'd be pretty wild. Oh, this is a real light assembly with uh, all the mountain screws. The light housing, the light bulb, and the rubber doormat for your rear tail light. Let's we see. have a t-shirt. Where is it? Oh, it's gone. It's sold. The bus bros. Thank you, bus bros. It we is gone. And, uh, sold and taken out of here. Well, I guess we missed it. Give you guys another look see at it, but it's gone. It was right here, I think. All right. I don't think this one's it. No. Got my again. Here we go. I think this is that Riviera. Really nice. It's gonna have safaris on it here in a couple days. I get got a set from Eddie and Dave's Garage. You guys who don't know, Eddie and Eddie Dave's Garage has safari windows and parts in Orange County, and uh, he can give you the same prices that anybody can for the same quality stuff that you can get anywhere else and you don't have to go all the way to Corona to buy it. So that's helpful if you know. If you're from Orange County, uh, he's in Orange, so it's a lot easier than going all the way to Corona. And get you get exactly the same stuff for the six, exactly the same price. So anyway. Anyway, I think that's it for this show. I think I'm gonna run over to RVA. I got another device. This thing's about out of energy. And uh, we'll go over there and see if we can film some stuff over there that you guys may be interested in. So keep it out for that next event show uh, coming up. Uh, I don't know which one I'll get done first, probably this one. But uh, just in case I don't, RVA, Rare Vintage Air, uh, something to elegance. I'm not sure what it was. It's actually called it. And it's in a little German town in Huntington Beach. Like a little German, I don't know what it is, not town, but you know some little thing they made look like german so it's kind of neat talk to you guys in the next one please like share and subscribe